May's Revenge by Yami Alex 224 Everyone thinks that May from the Pokemon games is a kind of worthless in-game character, but one day everything changed. I am a huge Pokemon fan, so when I heard about the Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, I had to go buy them. But at the time, I was a high school student and did not have very much money. So when I went to school, a friend let me borrow his copy of Emerald. I thought it was cool because he had Ruby and he did not want someone to ruin that game. So I got home and put Emerald in my GBA and everything seemed normal. I chose the boy and named him Lucas and picked Mudkip because I love water Pokemon. So the game went on and I had to battle Mei, the rival, since this was my first time playing a Gen 3 game, I thought a female rival would be different since all the rivals until now were male. So as I was winning, her Torchic's health was in the red, May appeared on the screen with mad eyes. I thought, okay, well this is new, at the time I thought it was part of the game thinking Gen 3 would show some emotions, cause it was a new game in the series, and on a new game system, and technology got better in 2004. When I won, she appeared but said nothing, she just looked mad. Then the game went on normally, I got the first badge, and May wanted to battle again, this time her Pokemon were around level 15 to 20. My Pokemon were about level 16 to 18, my starter evolved, and I had a Beautifly and a Tallow. Okay, I know I can't spell Pokemon names, get over it. So during the battle, she got down to her last Pokemon, and her started and her last Pokemon, her starter, looked mad. I won and she said you will pay for this. I thought, okay, that's odd, but maybe this was like a beta version my friend got his hands on, and Game Freak wanted to take Pokemon into a new age group. This time I kept May in the back of my head, thinking the entire time about her. I was wondering what in the world is with her. I really did not understand if this was the way the game was supposed to be, or if this was a hacked game, but I kept playing. As I collected the gym badges, the game runs just fine until I got to Fortree City. Once I got near the gym, May appeared once again wanting a battle. I was thinking good practice for the gym, so we started the battle. My Pokémon were around level 30-34, my Pokémon were evolved and I taught my starter Ice Beam. May sent out a Haunter, a Pokémon she had never had to start with. I used my Ice Beam attack and the Haunter fainted. When it fainted, May appeared on screen with an evil look and sent out Ghastly once again. I beat it with Swampert and then finally, she out her last Pokémon. This was not her starter Pokémon, it was a Gengar. This was not her normal team, but I beat it with an Ice Beam. She appeared on screen, and all that showed up was... And it went back to the overworld. Just then, another text box appeared, saying... Something has to change. Then she flew away after. Then I looked up the game on the internet and saw my friend's game was different than the one I saw online. But I was looking, I saw an odd beta version of Emerald, and saw some similarities to the version I had. I then continued to play the game, thinking that I just have to finish this game and see if anything else was going to be a surprise. So I beat up the next couple of gyms, and now I had 7 badges, a team of 4 Pokémon at level 38 to 42, my team was a level 42 Swampert, a level 40 Swellow, a level 38 Garvador, and a level 40 Camerupt. I was at the next point of the game where I knew I had to do the legendary Pokemon quest. When I got to the underwater place where Team Aqua was hiding, well once again I saw Mei. This time there was no text box, the battle just started, her sprite was different, it's her hair was down, her clothes and changed into a dress, and she had a black cloak on. This battle started and this time she sent out a Gengar at level 45. My Gardevoir beat it, and she sent out another Pokémon, this time it was a level 42 Duskull, once again beat by my Gardevoir. At this point in the battle, she reappeared on the screen and a text box appeared, saying, Change, we need change. Once again, she sent out a Haunter, and she knocked out my Gardevoir. After it fainted, I heard a sound coming from the Game Boy, something I could not make out. So I had to send out a new Pokemon, I sent out my Swampert and used Surf and knocked out her Haunter, the battle ended, she appeared once again and the text box appeared, next time. And it faded to the overworld, and once again I continued on my quest, beating the legendary Pokemon, Rayquaza. Once I got the last gym in Cetopolis, beating that gym with my Swellow, and I got my final badge. 
I walked out of the gym and the match call on my Pokenav. It was me, but nothing but static came out. Then it hung up and I heard another faint noise coming from it. I was thinking that was impossible, Pokemon games at the time had no sound effects other than Pokemon and weather, and I know the games did not have voice acting. I was thinking about that all the time to Evergrande City and the Pokemon League, I went into the Pokemon Center and after I healed up, I was about to enter the rooms of the Elite Four. As I went into the door once again I heard a faint sound and then it stopped. The game went on as normal, but after I beat the champion, May appeared once again and wanted to battle. The game seemed to go along with it, a text box appeared, it was the champion talking, this was the point where I bring the winner to the Hall of Fame. Another text box appeared with May saying, Change. The screen faded and then the noise I thought the game crashed so I restarted. The game when the game started back up, my info said my name, my badge number, and the playtime. I hit continue and I was in the Hall of Fame, and May appeared with another faint noise, then the game said THE END, and the credits rolled. I thought that this game was crazy. I went to my friend and gave it back to him and three weeks later, he was done and he said the game was awesome. I told him what happened when I played the game and he looked at me, confused and saying nothing. That was May's Revenge. Final thoughts? Jesus Christ run on sentences. This story was almost entirely a run-on sentence with no punctuation. It runs on so badly that it's actually kind of hard to read to yourself, and if you're going to be reading it out loud like me, you're left confused and out of breath. I want to make it clear that I only put stories on the reading list once the author has told me it's ready to be on the show, so that I don't accidentally read a story before it's been edited and ready. I want to remind people that if your story is not finished and still needs to be peer-edited more, don't tell me it's ready to be on the show. We just end up with a mess of a story that hasn't been fixed up yet and a lower quality of story for the show. I want these videos to have the best stories you can find, so please finish your stories before you pass them on to me. As for other problems, the line I can't spell Pokemon names get over it is almost insulting. You could have just googled it in 10 seconds or looked it up on Bulbapedia. There is no excuse for spelling a Pokemon's name wrong. Aside from grammar mistakes, spelling mistakes, and the occasional very dumb line, the story had nothing to it. Nothing really happened in the story, and the ending had absolutely no impact. Nothing happened. May was there, and it ended. That's it. That's it for this story. Tune in again next Saturday when we read yet another Pokemon Creepypasta done by one of our own in the community over on the forum with I Will Stand By You. If you want to see more Creepypasta that I've read, check out the description where you'll find a link to the playlist of all of my Creepypasta readings. You'll also find a link to the Creepypasta section of my personal forum where my community writes most of the stories that I do. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, sweet dreams.